Cool. Okay, thank you. Um, a lot of emphasis today on sports. Uh, am I to understand that the sports that are starting up in schools on March 15th, that includes Montreal region? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Everywhere, uh, red and orange, uh, sport at school, uh, we think, and uh, the, the, the public health think also that we can put measures that uh, will permit us to, to have these sports uh, in schools. Okay. So I may hand also that for people who can be anxious about this, it's going to be activities on, on, on besides school, which the same group, okay, the same bubble group in from, from the class. So that will not make more contacts of different persons together. So uh, the, the Ministry of Education is planning that in a way that if you're going to do sports, you're going to do sports with the same bubble of your class and not mixing up different classes, which could have been something worries for parents. So, I mean, so my, my actual question, sorry, was that, you know, we're seeing some, a lot of responses from sports federations uh, saying that we want to open, we want an open. Um, what are some of the determining factors you're going to decide? I mean, obviously some sports are at higher risk than other sports, but maybe you can just explain what you're looking for, what will determine what sports can open and not. I, I, I think, first of all, and any sports augment the contact, but we'll go progressively, I would say. And there is different levels of risk of, the, of um, and, you know, training, how many people are training in the room, the space of it. The playing tennis, for example, is different from having a hockey game, you know. Matches are best, more contact. So this is going to be later. But at the same time, I would say that supervised uh, sports by federations with right good protocols could be acceptable. So it's going to be what is going to be announced next week, what are going to be the steps, and uh, for, uh, because we worked a lot, uh, Ministry also of Loisir et Sport, with the different feder federations to see the protocols. Hello, good evening. Um, I want to stay on sports here for a little bit because I'm trying to wrap my head around this. I listened to Montreal Public Health today and they said two thirds of the variant cases are being spread through schools, which is why you're asking even elementary school students to wear masks in class. How then do you justify having children running around in a room without a mask? Because I'm assuming they're not wearing masks when they're doing their sports. I don't understand. Please explain. It's, it, uh, you know, the risk zero doesn't exist. The, the issue is that we want to balance things. You know, kids can have problems if they get stress, if they don't get, you know, it, even they can have impacts on their learning capacity. So it's clear that we are balancing the risks of, in that situation. Because if we want no risk, we would close schools, we will all go home, and that would not be acceptable, you know? And if we want people to stay in, I would say, not perfect health, because it's very difficult, actually, to do that, we must take that. And we are adding, I would say, uh, masks in, in primary school in red zones because of the variants, because the contact on those situations all the day with the class, the probability of contact is higher than this practicing of different sports. So that's, that's the reason why, you know, because if we are too tough, we're going to lose people. And, if even, and that's the risk, actually, that people are tired of, of everything. We are balancing it and we are following it. And if there is a problem, we'll come back. But we think that the way we are acting, and I was telling it, we are not relaxing everything. We are going softly, and we still keep things that are uh, here and not elsewhere. The, the curfew is an important issue. People must work at home, so all these things. The, and people, I hope, will wash their hands, will keep the two meters distanciation. People understand better now, and uh, I would say, let's do that till we get uh, most people vaccinated in Quebec.